Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. Just want to chat with y'all, and I want to talk with y'all about hip-hop again. This is the music that we all know and love. This is the music that we all enjoy. I just want to chat with y'all and give y'all some facts about when it comes down to a rapper having a ghostwriter. I know I've done... I, I know I've talked to y'all about this before, but I want to add some more info because I know that there's probably some rappers out there that have a ghostwriter that may think about doing this just to show the proof, but it's actually fake proof. What I want to discuss with y'all is that when it comes down to a rapper having a ghostwriter and everybody know like like pe people are saying that they have a ghostwriter and they want to try to make it like it's just rumors when they know deep down and they in their heart and they know they know good and well with their own two eyes that they have a ghostwriter they know that they have somebody that writes their songs for them but in order for them they they, they think that they can like show proof that they don't have a ghostwriter by actually setting down in the studio or maybe at home copying what what the ghostwriter had wrote down on paper or in the composition book like that that's fake proof it's fake proof like like you know what i mean they, you know the rapper didn't even come up with the idea of the song they didn't come up with the name of the song the hook the lyrics the rhymes the rhyme schemes the word play you know, the punchlines, they didn't come up with none of that, and they know that, too. Trying to show proof, you can't show proof. By you trying to show proof like that, you're actually showing fake proof. It's not real proof. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're, you're not really trying to prove people wrong. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like by, by the critics making articles about you saying that you're a rapper with a ghostwriter, the critics, you know, you're actually proving the critics right. Now, by me doing this video, am I taking a shot at Drake? No. Now, as I said before about Drake, I love Drake. I'm still a Drake fan. I I, I love Drake. I've been a fan ever since. I've, I've been a fan of Drake ever since 2009. I'm pretty sure Drake can write, like, majority of his songs. Like, I'm pretty sure Drake has writing skills. I mean, there's nothing wrong about having assistance, you know, you, you could be in the studio writing a song and, you know, you may like have like maybe your producer or maybe the, the artist that you're collabing with trying to help you out a little bit. And there's nothing wrong about that, you know, telling you to, to you know, to rhyme this word with that word, make it sound like this, make it sound like that. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, you know, just use this word to make the stuff sound better. You know, like th there's nothing wrong about that, but. Don't be giving yo your pen to to the artist that you're collabing with so they can write the verse for you. No. Now, there's nothing wrong about them helping you write a hook. There's nothing wrong about them helping you write a chorus. But with the verses, that's something that you need to handle on your own. That's something that you need to take care of yourself. Y'all know with my story, like yo, and, and y'all should know this too. I don't have a ghost writer at all. You know, there, there, there's times where I go through writer's block. There's times where I really just have to sit down and I got to think with my pen in my hand. There's times where I bust my brain. I don't have a ghost writer at all. Nobody helps me write my songs at all. Out of all the songs that y'all have heard by me, even with my new song, The Matrix Part 2, who wrote the song? I did. Yeah, I wrote the song. I wrote Fame. I wrote, I wrote Unexpected Blessings. I wrote Till the Day I Die. I wrote Underground for Life. You know what I mean? I wrote The Matrix Part 1. You know what I mean? I wrote Media is the Devil. Media is the Devil Part 2. Like all the songs that y'all have heard by me, I wrote them all. I wrote Fuck Racism. I wrote all them songs. Yeah, I wrote The Chosen One. Like, all the songs that y'all have heard about me, I wrote them all. Like, so, yeah. I mean, like, you know, it, to, to all the artists out there, like, if you a rapper out there and you have a ghostwriter, like, don't, 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 don't do the fake proof. Don't, 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 don't try to, like, try, don't, because you're not really, 
by, by you doing that, by you just copying what the ghostwriter wrote down on paper, you're not even trying to prove, prove people wrong. You're trying to prove the haters and you're trying to prove the critics right. That's what you're doing. You know, because you know deep down in your heart, you know good and well that you didn't come up with the idea of the song, the name of the song, the lyrics, the rhymes, the rhyme schemes, the like, like the punch lines, the word to play. You didn't come up with none of that. You didn't come up with the, with the none of the ideas. The ghost writer did. So yeah, I I just wanted to share this video because, and and, and really it just came to my mind because it, it, common sense wise, some 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 rappers with ghost writers will try to show the fake proof by 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 just copying what the ghost writer wrote on paper. I just wanted to address this. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, and again, my new song, a song that I wrote myself, I don't have a ghostwriter at all, so, you know, like, if there's anybody out there, you know, that wanna diss me, gonna have the nerve to talk about saying that I have a ghostwriter, it's a big fat rumor, I don't, I don't have a ghostwriter at all, you know, I mean... I mean, you can call me out if you want to, you know, claiming that I got a ghostwriter, but calling me out would, would be out of your mind. But, yo, yeah, I just wanted to, to address this, but, yo, yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, and my new song, The Matrix Part 2, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. Again, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Love y'all.